Hi everyone, in today's video I wanted to give you guys a quick little update on my most recent luxury designer handbag purchases. Now, I have bought five bags this year, but I'm only going to talk about four of them because there is a little bit of drama with one of the bags. I'm not going to get too much into it because the issue still hasn't been resolved and when it will be resolved, I promise you guys, I will make a whole other separate video about it, what happened, and I'll tell you absolutely everything. But for now, we're going to focus on the four bags that have not had any issues just yet. So let's start this video. By the way, if you hear some noises throughout the video, it's coming from the streets. I'm filming on a Friday night and People are living their best life, so I just wanted to give you a warning. I hope that it's not going to get too loud, but in case you hear something, it's the it's the party people. Okay, so the first bag that I got is this Hermes hair bag in size 31, all black with yellow gold hardware. And this bag was just what I needed. Just like I expected, it has been the perfect errand bag. It is neutral, it is lightweight, it doesn't have a lot of branding, which I truly appreciate because in certain places, for certain occasions, I want a nice bag, but I don't want an obvious designer bag, if that makes sense. And this has been perfect. I've heard that some people find it hard to access the bag. I personally don't. But the only thing that does bother me is how it's deceivingly small. Like, I thought that it would fit so much more, but it actually doesn't. And when the bag is completely full, it tends to kind of pop open, just like this. Which I don't really like, um, but it's okay. For errands, it's okay. The only disappointment for me was that I was hoping to use this as a travel bag, but it just doesn't fit everything I need when I travel. So unfortunately, it's not a travel bag. Or if you want to use it as a travel bag, you have to go with a bigger size because this looks like it's like it's big enough, but it's not, it's really not. And it popped open a lot when I was traveling with it just because it was overstuffed. But other than that, for day-to-day -day errands, it is really the perfect size. Oh, and one last thing, be careful if you have pets because this material does attract fur. I don't think that you can see it right now because I try to keep it away from my pets, but if you have dogs, cats, and they like to go around your bag, you're gonna have to keep a lint roller close by just to keep this bag clean. The next bag that I got was this Chanel Chunky Chain Bag, or as officially called Funky Town Bag. And this is, I believe, in the medium size because it's also available in a large and in a mini as well. So this is the one in the middle. And I love this bag so much. There were many things that worried me about this bag. And the first one was the color. Even though it's an absolutely gorgeous corally pink, it was my first pink luxury designer handbag. And Chanel bags are not cheap. So for me to go for a pink Chanel bag when it's the very first pink designer handbag for me ever was a very bold move, but I'm very happy that I did because I love the fact that it's pink so much. It has refreshed my wardrobe and it's just such a beautiful combination. The chunkiness of the chain with the softness of the corally pink is it's perfect. It's like me in a pink bag. So happy that I listened to my gut and I didn't get it in white or black because even though white and black, they're also beautiful and I actually really would not mind having this in white as well. But pink was really my first choice and my gut was right. I'm really happy that I went with pink. Another thing that I was worried about was the weight of this bag because the chain it is nice and hefty 
so I was a little bit worried that it's going to be very heavy on the shoulder but it actually isn't it's very lightweight and it's been super comfortable it's also very comfortable to use because it sits perfectly just around the waist so that it's easy to access just like this and here is how you close it and then you just keep carrying it as a shoulder bag so very comfortable very easy to use and it's just such a great bag the only thing that kind of disappointed me with this bag a little bit was the size i thought that it would fit a little bit more but it really is it fits the same amount as mini bags maybe even less it really doesn't fit much because look this is just my key holder and my wallet and the bag is basically full so it doesn't really fit as much as i thought it would but it doesn't bother me because i can still put my phone here you see there is another layer for phone and then i can put a lipstick however if i really need that extra space i can replace my wallet and just put the content of my wallet into this zip compartment so there are ways around it you know but would i be happier if it was just a little bit bigger yes i wouldn't go for the bigger size just because i think that in pink it would be a little bit too much in black or white yes but in pink the bigger size it's it's too much for me personally so this is a great size just looks a little bit bigger than it actually is other than that i love using this bag i haven't used it very often just because it's very hot and i don't want to risk harming the leather with like damp shoulders or something you know from the humidity but i think that i'm going to use it even more when i'm going to start wearing blazers again when it gets just a little bit colder and this chunky chain against a white blazer a gray blazer um is just going to be beautiful so can't wait to keep styling her it's such a fun bag to style so yeah i'm really happy with this bag the next bag i got was this dreamy sparkly bag in the form of a uh, gucci marmont in size small and in silver sequins and this is officially my favorite outlet discount whatever find ever because this bag has impressed me so much especially the quality i'm really impressed how the sequins are staying flat because i took a few risks with this bag i wore some silk pieces and a fine knit top so i was expecting for those clothes to be ripped apart by the sequins from the bag but it didn't my clothes are completely fine so this bag really impressed me the quality of the sequins is great because i've had sequin bags before they were from high street so it's not really a proper comparison but those ripped my clothes apart and this one the sequins are just staying flat so i'm very impressed with the quality another thing that impressed me is that it's so much more spacious than i thought unlike the first two bags that i talked about how they are much smaller than i expected this one has turned out to be much more spacious than i expected because it really fits all the essentials and so much more and then of course it sparkles like a dream i've gotten so many compliments on this bag it's always such a joy to use so it's been worth every penny i love this bag and if you can still get your hands on this bag do that because it is such a stunning bag and it has really surprised me i love it i love it so much and finally the latest addition to my handbag collection is this prada raffia tote bag and this bag really is very aesthetically pleasing but practically it's not a very practical bag and i mean i knew that when i bought it there are some things that have surprised me and then there are some things that have been 
just what I expected. Okay, so let's start. The first thing that I would change about this bag is the length of the handles because this is really strictly a top handle type of bag because even though it fits on the shoulder, it digs into the armpits so much. So it's not a comfortable shoulder bag and that's one of the reasons why I only use it as a top handle bag. It may work as a shoulder bag if you're very petite, but other than that, if you're tall like me, yeah, this is not going to be a shoulder bag. Another thing that bothers me a lot is the fact that there's no closure. I mean, for the price of it, they could have at least done a magnet, something, something little, even like those, those little strings, even they would have been fine just to make the bag a little bit more safe especially considering the price of it. <laughs> why, why Prada? Why would you do this to us? Make such a beautiful bag and make it so impractical. And since I mentioned the price, the price is really way too much for a raffia tote. Even if it's Prada, I don't think that it should have been more than a thousand euros and even a thousand euros would be a lot. But since it is a classic, I would forgive them. But a thousand five hundred i think it was one thousand five hundred fifty or something like that that's a lot of money for a raffia toast so these are the things that bother me the most about this bag but the good news is that i already knew that they were going to bother me so it wasn't like i bought it and then i was surprised that there is no closure you know i knew what to expect i knew that there is no closure so i didn't have any additional disappointments However, I did have some pleasant surprises with this bag and one of them is the fact that it's a shapeless bag. It doesn't have a shape and usually I see it as a con, but this case I actually see it as a pro because look how it folds. You can hold it flat and it's particularly nice when you travel to some place very exotic and you can just fold it in your suitcase like this. It doesn't take a lot of space. It's very lightweight, so that's really cool. Another thing that is kind of a benefit because it doesn't have a shape is that you can kind of close it when you're in the car because when you have your belongings inside and you put it on the car seat, you can just kind of fold the top part a little bit like that so the goods are still secure. And that's one of the funny things with the shapeless raffia tote bag moment. So I'm really, I really like that. And I hope that because it is so shapeless, it's never going to lose this shapeless bag look. I don't know am I making sense, but I hope that you understand what I mean. I hope that it's going to look the same way in 10, 20 years like it does now, because it already doesn't have shape. It's not like it can lose even more shape. Can it? Maybe the raffia can stretch out. I don't know, we'll see. I'll keep you guys posted. Overall, I'm very happy that I took the plunge, even though I knew that it has some flaws to it. I found a way how to work around them. So yeah, overall, I'm very happy with this bag and I've really enjoyed using it. So that's another successful purchase this year. Hopefully the second part of the year is going to be as successful in luxury designer handbag purchases as the first one but i think that's it if you have any questions about any of these bags feel free to ask in the comment section below but other than that thank you so much for watching this video i hope that you enjoyed it and i hope that you found it useful if you did don't forget to subscribe to my channel because i do love talking about fashion so let's stay in touch and i'll see you in my next video bye guys stay safe